All right. Folks, we are back with you, and we're here with our offensive and defensive players of the game. As you can see, we got quite a crowd tonight. And uh, we decided since it's such a complete team victory that uh, we really couldn't pick out one single person on offense and one single person on defense that we felt like was something that would call player of the game when everybody played such a great game. Big 44, nothing shut out. Uh, very few first downs given up. Uh, I don't think we had any first downs given up until there was a penalty in the second quarter. So big night for the defense. Offense had several one play drives, two play drives. So. Our offensive players of the game are our offense. Our defensive player of the game is our defense. Uh, we got a cordless mic. We're going to start with number one, T.Y. Trammell. They're all going to talk about how they feel about tonight's game, season so far, maybe next week with Wilcox, whatever they want to talk about. I have asked them to introduce themselves because a lot of y'all don't see these young men without their helmets on. And uh, I know y'all kind of know who, want to know who they are and what they look like. So this is your chance to know. In person, you're Chambers Academy Rebels. Take it away, T.Y. My name is T.Y. <coughs> and tonight, it was a good night. I, was, I planned to score that time on touch the ball. I quite just knew that. But I know next week, though, we're going to do very good again. And we're going to take another win to move on to the next round of playoffs. <coughs> My name is Wyatt. I'm number one chop. Tonight, we played a very good game. <coughs> Come out, offensive line executed. We feel the ball a lot of injuries. That would be really strong in the playoffs. <coughs> My name is Jordan Benbrook. Go Rebels. How <laughs> said all of us. <coughs> My name is Gavin Kite. Go Rebels. Yeah. You want to take the whole show, John? Yeah, I'm John White. And like, like what y'all said, we got all our injuries healed. Everybody's getting better. We should be getting strong in the playoffs, like he said. <laughs> And JoJo, I think we did pretty good throwing the ball. I think we did good in the playoffs, too. My name is Phil Conway. It's great to play with the CNN. Keep it on here. <laughs> oh. My name is Nick Ward. It felt good being back after two weeks. And uh, go Rebels. Can you help that out? It felt good being back two weeks, like Nick said. <coughs> uh, I think offense line did a good job tonight, and it's good to have everybody back up. My name is Dylan Williams. Go Rebels. My name is Levi Waldrop. It's good to be back after six weeks. <laughs> 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 good game. Go Rebels. <laughs> go Rebels. My name is Durbin. Durbin. All right, we're passing over to the Do defense. Do I need to go over there? Yeah. <laughs> you play both ways, you can swap over. Uh, I play. Just special teams. Why can't you play both ways? Just special teams. Alright, let's go play. Let's start next stuff. I'm going to go to the Bengals. And if we can continue to go to the Cowboys tonight on defense, I feel like we're going to take the chance to be here. So, once again, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, we didn't, we didn't give up any first down until like what, the second half. So it was like he said, we were foul, playing. So it was pretty good tonight. We can keep the same intensity up. Go Rebels. My name is Cross. 
defense band. I feel like we got the best D-line in the state. And we are gonna get better every week. First round, second round, and championship. And so we gotta keep on working every week, keep on getting better. Time. My name is Hunter Burnett, I'm like Raiden and Cross said, I feel like the D-line is unstoppable. Nobody can run the ball on us and if they're going to beat us, they're going to throw it or our secondary is going to be good enough to stop that too. Alright guys, let's hold on to uh, Ashton for our play of the game. And the rest of y'all, thanks for being here. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, somebody just hold I watched it back during halftime actually, and uh, Ryan Smith just blew his guy off the ball, and the guy released him and just got he got up there and just barely got enough of it to block it. <coughs> and so before, Ryan did block it. Yes, sir. That's what we couldn't tell. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I heard that on the live too. But um, the punt before that, I told Brett that if I can, I'm gonna pick one up and try to take it back to. Yeah, we thought that uh, one of the linemen, uh, Crenshaw, actually backed into the play. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't tell whether the ball got blocked, but uh, they said when you, you had it and run down the field with it, they weren't going to catch you, were they? I tried not to. <laughs> well, they didn't, so I guess they weren't. Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, great way to end your senior regular season. I can tell you, grandchildren, but uh, my last regular season game, Picked up a block punt, scored a touchdown. Yes, sir. Not a bad memory. Yes, sir. All right, well, I'll let you uh, go join your teammates. That's all they're having a lot of fun in there. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you. And you can turn it over to Coach Apple. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. Good job, Mike. Thank you. Have fun in there, Yeah. Well, it was a fun game. <laughs> I don't know if we were rolling ball or butcher knives yet, but that was total domination. Uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, I don't know that you had a drive over three or four plays without scoring, and uh, they didn't get a first down except by penalty, and then they got another one right about before halftime. Uh, you already got five touchdowns, and they get two first downs, you're going to win those Yeah, touchdowns. yeah. Yeah, that, I, uh, that, I talked to Coach Grant. They had some guys hurt. They're trying to get back healthy for the playoffs, so, you know, they're kind of lived in here, and, uh, you know, they lost a lot of seniors last year. They 13, uh, they were a pretty good football team last year. And, um, you know, we'll be in that position again <laughs> next year. We'll know what it's like to lose a lot of seniors. But uh, I thought our guys played really hard. Um, you know, I thought we executed pretty well. You know, we, it didn't look sloppy. You know, you can play games like this and look sloppy. And I thought we did. I thought, I thought our guys looked crisp. Uh, we threw and caught the ball well. Uh, we had some really good runs. I thought J-Rod looked. J-Rod's finally getting healthy. Um, you know, he's been injured most of the year. It just took him some time to uh, to get well, but uh, he looked really good on that, that run he had there. Yeah, yeah. He's a really good running back, and when we get all our weapons uh, going in the right direction, we can be tough to stop. Yeah, I thought we said a lot of uh, things uh, we came together quite well tonight. Uh, Chester and I, we, had to be, we were waiting to be back. We bet that Monday we could be spent uh, kicking extra points. Yeah. <laughs> we worked really hard on that. Um, you know, it's not always the kick. Sometimes it's the snap, sometimes it's protection. But uh, we, uh, he's been kicking them really well. So we'll go back and keep working at that. We, we've definitely got to get better at that, or we're just going to start going for two. So uh, I got a lot of faith in Caden. I think that uh, you know it matters a lot to him. I think he'll get it fixed. Oh yeah, I don't worry about that. He always had a great year, but it was kind of funny that uh, 
but it always seemed like there's so many components, like you said, of an extra coin, and it seemed like every extra coin, one of the components kind of went a little uh, awry, and that caused some problems. But uh, when you got to put into every one of them, none of them got blocked. So, uh, and one or two of them where we were, the light, they were good. But the guys right in front of the gun post didn't think so, and they're right there. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we made a change in the kickoff department this week. Spud, uh, <coughs> Spud started started kicking off for us. Um, you know, I think Kate kind of got a little dead legged there during the year, and his kickoffs were getting shorter and shorter. So uh, we were trying to give him a rest there, and, and uh, got Spud out there this week, and didn't realize he can he can really kick it well. He's kicking the ball around, around the ten five yard line, so uh, that can be a big big help to us in the playoffs because. Uh, you know, our goal is to make sure the other team starts at their 30 or behind. And, um, you know, I thought we'd, we'd look better at that tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, they seem to have a lot of trouble fielding some of these kicks, too. So that uh, means he's putting some kind of mojo on them and making yeah, hard yeah. kicks. So uh, that's a good thing. I mean, I, it's hard to find anything to, uh, to be unhappy about tonight. Uh, as we said, total domination. Seventh win in a row over Bridgeshaw, which is. Uh, and the comments went because we went a lot of years back in the uh, right around the turn of the century where we could not stay on the field over sometimes. Yeah, <clears throat> and um, you know they got a, they got a lot of tradition in their program. Coach Grant is an excellent football coach. They were just a little bit outmatched tonight. Well, nine and one, a chance to win ten games for about uh, like the seventh year in a row. And ten games, seven years in a row. That's seventy wins. Can't that's nothing to sneak as that. Has it been that long? Well, it's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So uh, you get to uh, go by, I realize, but uh, seven times 10, 70, any way you could it. So, uh, it's been a great run, hasn't it? It has and, been. I, mean, and it's, uh, I, I, hope, I hope people don't get uh, too used to winning, you know, and, and understand, it you know. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of fun, but I, I, don't, what, I don't mean that. I don't mean that I just hope we don't get complacent and expect and expect it and uh, you know you can you know the biggest the biggest deterrent to uh, becoming great to me is complacency you know and oh so, absolutely and uh, and that can happen in your fan base it can happen in your program in your school wherever I, mean, I don't think I've seen it so far I mean I know what you're talking about and you know you're gonna get your you always got the people on the, on the fringe that are you don't win by enough. Yeah. And you stumble up and lose one sometime, and all of a sudden you've, uh, you know, just lost everything. So you can't worry about uh, the fringe folks, but uh, this is a great program. You've built a great program here. Pee Wee team won a state championship this week, so there's no reason not to believe that uh, it won't continue. JV team only lost mm -hmm. one, and then they beat the team and beat them again. So. Yeah. Uh, it's been a really good year for our football program. The future yeah. seems bright. The future yeah. seems very bright. Yeah. Tell us uh, while we're talking, and the greatest season is coming in. This is a classification year, and I understand there's some conversation about doing classifications one or two or three or four different ways. But what's going on with that? You know I mean? No, they're, they're, they've decided, they've voted. So most of you, every two years, they count your, for instance, in football, they count your boys 8 through 11. Uh, and they classify you for the next year. Well, they they decided to change that to nine through twelve, and you know it raised a lot of eyebrows because the seniors this year won't be eligible to play yeah. next year. But um, yeah, our twenty seven kids. That yeah, twenty five. So what what the reasoning behind that is is um, a lot of they feel like a lot of schools are getting classified and bringing in seniors and adding a lot to their um, to their to their teams or to their student population and kind of doing it after the fact. So they're trying to, in retrospect, catch up with those teams that are doing that a lot. So, well, you know, if they treat everybody the same way, I guess it'll also work itself out. But yeah. It's going to be kind of a tough thing for us to lose 25 kids and they're still, yeah, well, going, and they're yeah. still going to count. <laughs> it's a bad year to start it because we're graduating the largest senior class in the history of the school. Yeah. But, um, Nobody's gonna feel sorry for us. Uh, I realize that. Um, I just wanted to be fair for everybody involved, um, you know. And what the the thing that, that that I would be that I'm scared of is you play a classification for two years with a lot less a uh, lot less players than you actually got classified for. So, you got a pretty good size three A school going into the uh, public system. 
correct, Tuscaloosa Academy. So, so it'd be interesting. They might have, you know, they've talked about you know, time or two going to be just two places, and I've always hoped they didn't do that because I felt like that was a detriment to small schools. I've talked to um, to uh, Coach Beck and those people that I say they they will do everything they can to keep three classes. I can assure you that. Well, your your small schools suffer when you don't have two classes. Uh, yeah. And your big schools get get. Uh, well, you know, it hasn't been and it hadn't been too long ago that we were that small school that was just trying to survive, mm -hmm. and we and we don't need to forget that. And uh, you know, it's our, our school's in a good place right now, but we gotta we gotta continue to. You gotta continue to build and grow. Well, as we said a couple of weeks ago, it ain't being torn out of the field for nothing. So uh, we, everybody's got confidence that you're gonna keep things going. Uh, you're gonna keep this program on the upward trajectory, and uh, we're just really looking forward to the playoffs. I think the team you put out there tonight's gonna go. If, if that team shows up the next three weeks, it's gonna go, go a long way toward a three-game winning streak, which is our gonna have in the state championship. So. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm excited. We got some guys back healthy. Uh, uh, big, just a big relief that Levi Walter, you know, we had pretty much given up on him playing football again this year. And, and all of a sudden, he just he keeps coming around and says, Coach, I feel pretty good. I feel okay, you know. And so we, we let him get a, all right, well, we let him put his helmet. He, he came out one day and had his helmet and shoulder pads on. I said, What are you doing, Levi? He said, but I feel okay. I can just run around out here a little bit. Next thing you know, he said, Coach, I'm going to get in one play. So we let him in a couple plays and then just really kept our eyes on him. And then we let him do a little bit more the next day. And, you know, we said, well, hey, you know, we talked to his mom and dad and felt like he could play some snaps tonight. And he did. And he sure had a big smile on his face. And, uh, you know, he's one of our smarter football players. You can't count out the fact that when these kids, they, they, they're six, seven, eight, nine – and they play the same offense and learn what to do. And that goes a long ways. Uh, and, and he really makes our whole offensive line work better because because of his knowledge of the game. Got to have a little fun tonight, too. Hunter Maria got him a touchdown. Yeah, and, first uh, touchdown of his career, he told me. <laughs> Ashton, that was actually, according to Ashton, that was his second touchdown. Yeah. That's a pretty neat way to get one. Yeah. And uh, had a beautiful pass from John. Uh, from JoJo to John White. Uh, I mean, it was NFL quality type pass. It's mm -hmm. right where it's supposed to be. So, yeah. just a, a really, really good all around night. Um, so, let's turn our attention to the playoffs. We got Wilcox in the first round. Uh, seems like that's for, for a couple, three years, that was a regular thing. And then yeah. they skipped a couple of years, but they're coming back up here. What do you know about them? Um, yeah, they got the same coach, Coach Woody Beck. And uh, that's a proud program. Uh, they got some good football players. I, I watched them a little bit today. They got an athletic quarterback. They're, they look a lot different than the Wilcox team you saw last. In fact, that uh, they're more of a spread, throw it around team than a wing T team, which they've always been. So uh, we got to prepare for that. And uh, you know they'll come in here. They and they'll be coming here want some revenge because they've come over here several times and and have, have gotten beaten, and knocked them out of the playoffs. So uh, well, we don't have to, we don't have to look back. And remember too far. To a four seed coming in here almost uh, pulling a major upset. So uh, yeah. hopefully the kids will remember that uh, that Jackson game got kind of hairy a couple of years ago. So. <laughs> yes, if that hairy was hard to work for, we won the game with four seconds left. So uh, <laughs> it might be more woolly than hairy. But anyway, uh, got to, you know, a three game winning streak could get you a state championship, like we said. And, and a four seed can win three in a row just as much as a one seed can. So. Absolutely. It's a new season. Everybody's starting with a blank slate, and that's why you got to approach it. Well, all right. Uh, we shall see starting with next Friday night how things go this year. As the Rebels go for a 1 10 win season in the playoff semifinal. And uh, we'll be right here with you. All right. For college. Yeah. Remember, it's great to play for the CNA. Good night. Go Rebels, God bless.